everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today we're going super cash with a kind of vlog style video but you're currently with me in my bathroom which this lamp is here because the light went out and it is way up there and we can't reach it at the moment. So um, today I am going to be doing a little quick video on how to use lip scents before we even rock the intro we are going I'm going to tell you guys that I am not here to advocate for purchasing the lip scents and I'm not here to advocate against purchasing lip scents the only purpose in this video is to teach you how to use this correctly that is it that is all nothing else if you want a review of lip scents go look somewhere else go ask someone else i'm not reviewing this due to the controversy behind it i am just telling you how to use it so with that said if you want to know how to use lip scents keep watching if you don't want to know how to use lip scents click the little x and exit my video here on Southeast by Midwest is we disclose and my disclosure for this is there is no disclosure um, I did get this from a friend but I got it on my own she did not send it to me she's not sponsoring this video etc etc I will link her group down below if you're interested she is a really good distributor she talks you through everything again not recommending or downing it just if you're interested and you're looking for a distributor I'm gonna link her down below because she's one that I do know and is one that I would recommend. I'm not just gonna link anybody. I actually knew her before she started doing lip sets. So. Okay, so the first thing that you'd need to do is actually clean your lips. And I always start with exfoliating because that's what I do with any liquid lipstick type product. I'm using today the e.l.f um lip scrub in cherry tart just because it's quick and it's easy and the way that this works is you basically just rub it all over your lips like you would a lipstick it's all nice and grainy get all in there top and bottom and i rub my lips together go back in a little bit if I feel any areas that just didn't feel really well coated and then I take that off with a warm paper towel. All right, had to get a headband because my hair kept falling in my face and it was annoying. I actually used so. to stop there but now I actually go in with the remover and I put that over my lips and I let it sit, rub my lips together, let it sit for 30 seconds and then wipe it off with a warm paper towel. And this is just going to pull off any oils or anything like that you may have still on your lips. Once your lips are clean and dry, you can start going in with your color. Now, there's a couple things you need to know about applying color. First off, you got to shake it a lot to make sure it gets even evenly distributed. Secondly, you're going to apply thin layers. And so when you first pull the wand out, you want to wipe a little bit of it off. You're going to go in one solid swipe from like corner to corner. You're not going to kind of draw over itself like you would a normal liquid lipstick. You're just going to go straight across top and bottom. And after you apply the first layer, you're going to let your lips sit like this, not touching for five to 10 seconds. And you're going to do that for all three layers. The shade that I am using today <clears throat> is pomegranate. And as you can see, there's hardly any product. And just let it sit for five to ten seconds. As you see here, I went in a little and over, and in a little and over, but I did not touch the same shot. So you can do it that way as well. All right, now we're already going with the second layer. And let it sit. After the second layer, you go in with the third layer, which I forgot to hit the record button to film on my bad. You just apply a 
gloss over and rub your lips together. So I'll be right back after I do that. To remove the lip scents at the end of the day, I'm gonna take the remover, rub it across, lumber rub my lips together, and then wipe it off. I may have to go in a couple of times to get it off, but let me tell you, a makeup remover wipe and coconut oil will not get this off. You have to use the remover. Also, I'll be taking this little pouch with me today um, because I will apply the gloss throughout the day as it loses its glossiness, like when I eat, et cetera, et cetera. That will help the lips and it will help the color. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite lipstick color is. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for any notifications because I am trying to upload five times a week. Make sure to follow me on all the social media link down below and subscribe to the newsletter so you don't miss anything. And until next time.